thank you for watching. My name is Thomas Merrill, and I have kind of a quick review thing to do today. Um, I don't feel the need to do long reviews, and I have multiple things to cover. And I have, while I did like or maybe even dislike these albums, I don't have too much to say. I mean, they're out, so go listen to them. Um, but there's four bands I want to talk about today. That being one of them, the first one I'll talk about is Howls of Ebb. Uh, a band from San Francisco. What? Who would have known a band from San Francisco can produce such a fucking crazy sound? Uh, black and death metal sound with tons of emphasis on big atmospheric doom mo moments. Um, the new album, Cursus Impasse, the Pendlomic Vows. I can't tell if I like it or love it, even after listening to it for two weeks. Um, there's a lot of it's a lot of thin guitar tone to it. Very good writing, but very very paper thin guitar tone. Um, where to the point where it kind of feels like, did they do that on purpose? Did the production, whoever was in charge of production, did they like purposely make this sound the way? It, 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 did they make it try to sound like shit? If so, they failed because while it is kind of a a thin, tinny sound, um, it still is awesome. It has a lot of grim, atmospheric moments. Very cold, very callous, very uh. How should I say? Evil moments. It's very encompassing with all of its dark melodies, uh, grim passages, and awesome songwriting. I'll give this a thumbs up. Thanks. All right, next up, I want to just briefly talk about the new Catatonia uh, album. Uh, Catatonia, they have kind of just turned into a depressing rock band. Um for better or worse terms, I don't know. You can take it or leave it. I don't care. But the last couple albums I've heard from them, they have just kind of a... Let's play some... Let, let's just jam. Let's just have some beers and jam and just sing about things. There's no screaming. Let's just sing about things. And while I do like what I'm hearing, I really, really appreciate this angle of music... And how it's more than just uh, anger and stuff. It's very um, uh, full of emotion, very rich in emotion, and with great musicianship. Um, I can only get about five or six songs in before I kind of just I, I kind of start getting bored. Now I'm not saying that the album is bad. The album being the Fall of Hearts. Um, it's just. I, this even happens every once in a while in a couple of uh, Black Label Society's chill albums, like uh, Hangover Music, where the album is really good. It's really, really good. But I could only get through the first half before... I mean, I had to really be in the mood for it to make it through the end. But, uh, yeah, very good songwriting. Very, very respectful execution in the singing, the guitar playing... Um, really puts it really kicks Opeth in the nuts when it comes to just really good songwriting and tone and everything. Um, I'm gonna give Catatonia's "The Fall of Hearts" a, a, like a like an average rating because while I do like it, I kind of just get bored with it really really quick. And the next album I want to talk about is Gruesome's new EP. Uh, Gruesome is a California death metal band who had an album out that, that came out last year, Savage Land. Uh, this band kind of just has a, uh, we love death, and you should too. So here's our music, you know, listen to it. We worship death, the band, not death, the dying part, but uh, the band. And uh, But this EP is kind of a step away from that. And while the music is heavy, grim, and everything you could have wanted from the last EP, or the last LP, uh, full length, whatever, um, this was one where I couldn't really take it seriously like I did the last uh, release. Um, I did enjoy it. The songwriting was just kind of unfulfilling. The vocals were kind of flat. I didn't really appreciate or didn't really have a much need or care to want to listen to it again, really, at all. So, um, well, I did really like Savage Land. I'm not really feeling Dimensions of Horror. I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Um, I still would recommend listening to it. It might be your cup of tea. It might be your pint of beer. It's 
It's my first time having this. Founders Mosaic Promise. A single hop ale. Great stuff. Okay. Last but not least, the other band I want to talk about is If These Trees Could Talk. Um, if These Trees Could Talk kind of sounds like a girly band, but honestly, they're one of the better instrumental post-rock bands um, in the modern times. I mean, I'm a metalhead, and I, I, I love this post-rock sound that these guys have. Um, the last album, Red Forest, was amazing. It was one of my favorite albums of 2012, and... I, so I'm listening to their new album, that album being called The Bones of a Dying World. Um, I, I, I really do like it, but it kind of has the same thing with Catatonia, where um, the musicianship and the instrumentation kind of... Uh, it's just not as exciting as Red Forest was. It's not as magical as Red Forest was. So if you're wanting that kind of repeat you are going to be sorely mistaken because uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't have the same energy. Everything kind of just takes uh, all these bands that kind of, I, I know, I, believe me, I love writing and playing depressive music, but uh, I don't know, when you take, so you, you can only do so much before it starts getting boring. And uh, But I'm going to say that while it's, while it kind of was like, it's great background music. Trust me. I'm, my daughter could walk in and I'll be playing that stuff. And I'm not going to be like, oh God, oh God, pause. I don't need her hearing about bloody gore tits and chopping things off with chainsaw dicks. I mean, I can actually let this play for anybody and they'll they'll enjoy it. They'll like it. I mean, it's post-rock and it's instrumental at that. So, I mean, it's calm. It's, it's good. It has its moments. Great guitar tone. It does have really, really good songwriting, but uh, I find it a little boring. But it's still highly enjoyable. I know I'm kind of contradicting myself here. Not kind of. I am contradicting myself here. But um, with If These Trees Could Talk, I'm going to go ahead and give that a thumbs up, though. Because while it is kind of bleh on some tracks, um, they do keep a really high level of energy going. Their songwriting is fantastic. What saves them is their guitar tone. They are really really good at writing post-rock melodies and keeping a big thick atmosphere so what are your thoughts on those albums have you heard them yet if not i'll link them down below and uh check them out even the one i poo-pooed on gruesome check that one out fuck it <laughs> but uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next review skull